the reverse of the bill as a tool or a medium to communicate to households, you need to choose your principal customer for that activity. It is definitely not the man in the house. Profit potential, at the end of the day, we are in business to make profits. Otherwise, we will not be able to grow. LinkedIn, for example, has three sets of customers, job recruiters, advertisers, and users. So, it chooses individual users as its primary customer because the job recruiters and everybody else is there because of the individual users. Like in ABP, I used to mention that a newspaper exists because of its readers. Because the readers are there, the advertisers are advertising in the newspaper to reach out or access those readers who are reading this publication. Second point is understand your principal customer. Understand which service or product your principal customer values most. For example, in a Spencer's scenario, while the principal customer remains that lady who is 25 years old, I'm sure you have strategies around what are the drivers, because Spencer's has hundreds of things. So what are the drivers that will bring that customer to the store, and that needs to be determined. Otherwise, we will be consulting with a masala client recently. And uh, they said their biggest uh, USP, if I may use that word, is purity. I said, every masala manufacturer will say that I make pure masala. How are we different? <coughs> will any masala manufacturer say that I am not pure? No, no. So how does a customer relate to purity? Right? So the cues could be, whether if you take the haldi in the hand, if there is a stain remained in the hand, or if you put the red mirchi in the curry, <coughs> half a chammach is good enough to blow your mind. Because these are customer decodification of the word purity. So therefore, there has to be a driver of all the masalas, which will drive your brand and establish the platform of purity because if that is established, whether you are doing it with a haldi or a uh, mirchi does not matter because everything else will follow. Do you agree? Like imami, healthy and tasty oils. Oil, they spoke about, that in Bengali there is a word called jhaj. You know, uh, if the mustard oil is pungent enough, then you start uh, watering in the eyes. And they have used that as a metaphor to uh, talk about uh, purity. Yes, sure. I just had one question. Uh, you mentioned for uh, I think it's primary customer is the individual user. Right. Uh, but according to your individual definition of a customer, it's a person who is uh, paid you for the service, right, for the product. But the majority of the individual uh, users are free users. Yeah. So like for Facebook in address, yes. who would be the principal customer? Right. Excellent. Good question. Yeah, but at least you are not sleeping. So, uh, as I mentioned in the case of ABP, or Telegraph or Times of India. We sell the newspaper at 5 rupees. How much is it now? 5 rupees per copy. The cost of production of the newspaper is more than 8 rupees. Out of 5 rupees, 35 to 40 percent is paid to the newspaper vendor to deliver the newspaper at home. So that means 2 rupees gone, 3 rupees retained, 8 rupees is the cost, 5 rupees is the per paper copy sold loss that any publication house is incurring on a this thing. So the money is, customer is paying here, which is a little different from a LinkedIn or a Facebook. But the business model is such, where the money is coming from advertising. Similarly for LinkedIn, Facebook, any of the social platforms, 
the business model is that the money is coming from advertisers, but money is coming for whom? It's coming for the number of people who are there. If you look at this flip cards of the world, everybody is greening, everybody is greening, but still the valuation is going up. Their game plan is all about valuation, and the valuation is to a large extent dependent on the number of people who are transacting on your platform. Am I right or wrong? So therefore, their business model is different. So you are right that I had mentioned that the person who is paying for the customer is because that's how majority of the customers are defined and for the basic understanding we have done that. However, the customer for LinkedIn, if there is an advertiser, he comes in or a job recruiter comes in only because there are enough people of certain quality who are there on LinkedIn. That is why if you see what LinkedIn gets in terms of advertising hardly comes to Facebook because Facebook is rather, it's, it's like a lump whereas LinkedIn is extremely defined. One is a personal social networking, the other one is a professional social networking. Okay? <coughs> there are customers that don't even know what they exactly require. Steve Jobs believed in it very strongly. And uncovering exact customer needs calls for systemic research at multiple levels. And here somebody was talking of IT analytics, who was saying? All right. Analytics, we'll talk about it a little more. Analytics is going to play a very, very important role as you go further in customer perspective. We'll talk about it when the time comes. 